Tonight is a double gift. First, from the donor whose endowment makes possible this extraordinary experience for our students. Secondly, because our visiting scholar is Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Dr. Tyson is an astrophysicist who serves as the director of the Hayden Planetarium. And I'm told that he is one of only 7,000 trained astrophysicists in the world. Please help me welcome Dr. Tyson. Visiting Scholar Program started two years ago with a great idea that some donors had that it would be terrific if students were exposed periodically to people whom they would normally wouldn't come into contact with. People who had a high presence in their field, people who had big ideas, that would be an adjunct of sorts to the kind of experiences they have here with our already fine and dedicated faculty. I'm proud to have been named this year's Scholar in Residence. I mean, I think that's a great program uh, to enrich the academic experience of the, of the student body. If anything, to convince them that no matter what they become in life, that you are always better off being scientifically literate in the, in, the po in the process. That you can't defend not knowing how the world works. I'm thrilled that Dr. Tyson has come in to really help our students aspire towards a greater sense of, of science, a greater sense of the possibility of careers in the sciences, and a greater possibility of how they may be able to impact the world, and as our mission statement says, bring about the world that ought to be. Another prerequisite for life as we know it, that's a nice way to say it, life as we know it, is liquid water, commonly listed as an important ingredient for life as we know it. Is it an important ingredient for any life at all? We don't actually know. Is just that there is a liquid of some kind. Could it be liquid ammonia, liquid methane, liquid anything? Without another life form from another planet, you cannot make this claim. The science literacy is knowing how to ask the questions to get answers that you don't know. And that is what empowers a nation to take command of its own future. Without it, we should we just slide back to the caves and watch the rest of the world run the show. It's no longer just we're here on Earth and that's the universe. No, that's not something separate. The fact that the elements in your body were forged in stars that gave their lives. Those very elements tells us that we are stardust and that it's not simply that we are in this universe, the universe is in us. We are a participant in a great unfolding of this cosmic story.